Now, I'm going to give you a rundown of Rolle's theorem in about a minute. Yep. We're not going to really be covering a whole bunch of section 3.2. Uh, it's a very cool, it's cool, it's a good idea, but I can tell you the idea in about a minute. So, here it is. Rolle's theorem says, if your function crosses the x-axis, and then crosses the x-axis again, so like that, and it's continuous between those points, so it could do anything, but if it crosses here and it crosses here, and you know it's continuous between them, tell me something that absolutely has to be certain about your slope between these two points. Well, it's going to have a maximum, sure, we'll have a maximum, but tell me something between this interval about the slope, not the, not absolute, I care about absolute maximum or over that, past that. Tell me what the slope will be equal to at at least one point between here and here. Zero. It must be, because you're coming up and you're coming down, right? Somewhere, at least one point, you'll have a zero slope. Does that make sense? That's what Rolle's theorem, Rolle's theorem says. Hey, by the way, I'm going to draw a corollary right now. What's the slope of the x-axis? And that's the line that these two points cross, right? I'm going to show you the, the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem says take two points and draw a secant, AB. <coughs> Would you agree that that secant line is going to have a slope? Okay, tell me something between these two points, if this is continuous, actually, let me make it stronger, if it's differentiable. That actually has to be differentiable because otherwise that eliminates sharp points, okay? So it's got to be differentiable. If that's differentiable, that's true. If this is differentiable, what has to happen at some point along this curve with the slope? Not zero. Parallel. What was it? Parallel. Good, parallel. What do you know about parallel lines? Okay, so would you agree that somewhere from here to here, this will have the same slope as this? Now, make the jump. Do you see that this is exactly the same thing as this? That's a special case. What's the slope of this line? Somewhere along there, it's going to have a zero slope. You get it? What's the slope of this line? I don't care, but somewhere along here, it's going to have a slope of that exact secant value. That's the Rolle's theorem and the mean value theorem. So it's just a concept. <laughs> uh, well, you can verify it, but yes, it's just a concept. If f of x is differentiable, more than continuity, differentiable on a, b, f prime of x will equal zero for some point on a, b. That must be true. And that's a fancy way of saying what I just said. This takes a little bit more work to write it simply, but would you understand that the slope of this would be b f of b, well the point is b f of b, and the point is a f of a? Then the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Are you okay with that, that that is actually the slope? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then if f of x is differentiable on a, b, 
the first derivative will equal that slope at some point. That's Rolle's theorem and mean value theorem. If you're required to check these, which I think some of your homework says that, uh, what you would do is this. This is it. For mean value theorem, you find the first derivative. You set it equal to 0. You're going to get an x value, right? All you need to do is verify that the x is between a and b. It will be. If it's continuous, it will be. For this one, this is a little bit more tricky. You have to find the slope between the two points. You get me? Find the slope. This is the slope between two points. Take your first derivative, watch carefully, take your first derivative and set it equal to the slope. You get me? Set it equal to the slope and solve for x. It's not zero, it's the slope. And then verify that whatever point you get is between your interval. And that's all that says. It's a ver verification process, basically. So all in all, uh, in plain English, this says if f of x crosses the x-axis and it's, it's differentiable, at some point you will have a horizontal tangent. All it says. If f of x is continuous, at some point, the slope of your function will equal the slope of your secant between two points, if it's, if it's differentiable between those two points. That, that's all it says. Rich, I feel okay with your rules and new values. Sweet. Love that. Now, 